Hi, this is Walt Mossberg, personal technology columnist for the Wall Street Journal. And everybody knows that if you're uh, on the go and you still need to do some computing, you could carry a laptop or you could carry one of the new uh, handheld computers, the super smartphones like an iPhone or a, a uh, Google G1. But over the course of this year, there has developed a new category of device uh, that is bigger than a smartphone, but actually uh, a smaller and lighter and much less expensive than the smallest, lightest uh, laptops. This category is called the netbook. And it's really the first uh, device in between the size of a, of a cell phone and a laptop uh, that has shown signs that it really may take off. The computer industry has been working on something in this kind of size range for a long time with absolutely no success and uh, this is different. Uh, I reviewed the, the very first of the popular netbooks, the EPC, uh, way back in January. There was a lot uh, missing from it and a, and a lot of uh, uh, major compromises in it. It only had a seven inch screen. It had very limited storage. Uh, it used uh, Linux, which while uh, it has many good qualities, is not uh, well known and and familiar to most consumers. But in the time since then, many companies have jumped into this netbook category. Uh, many of the netbooks now have, uh, even the standard ones, uh, have a bigger screen, 8.9 inches. Some now have a 10 inch screen. Dell is planning to come out with one soon with a 12 inch screen. Uh, they, uh, m almost all of them now have hard to disk, at least as an option, so you get a lot of storage. Uh, and uh, they, uh, they uh, use Windows XP, at least optionally, and uh, most consumers uh, are very familiar with that and with all the programs you can run under Windows XP. So uh, in my column this week, I took a look at four representative netbooks um, and talked about their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, one important thing to point out is that even though the prices have risen some, since that early 7-inch E, which was about $300, uh, they're still between, uh, say, $350 and uh, $500, which, uh, while you can buy a laptop, uh, a cheap laptop in that, in that price range, um, is still a very low price for something that uh, is as light and portable, uh, and yet uh, getting to be as capable as these uh, netbooks are. Now, I wouldn't buy a netbook for uh, super heavy-duty use. Uh, I wouldn't make it my main computer, but if your back is breaking from carrying around a heavy laptop or you just don't feel like uh, you get uh, as much productivity or uh, entertainment value out of your smartphone as you would like, if that's your alternative to your laptop, uh, this, is, uh, this netbook category is worth looking into. Uh, I don't have time in this video to go into all the details of the four representative netbooks that I looked at. Uh, these included the, uh, the uh, Acer Aspire 1 and the Dell Mini 9, both of which have an 8.9 inch screen, uh, and two 10 inch screen ones, the MSI Wind U100, and another EPC from ASUS called the 1000H. Uh, uh, ASUS has so many uh, netbooks and they change so frequently that their product line really is a blur, but this one is sort of at the higher end of their, uh, of their line. It costs a little under uh, $500. Um, uh, the one thing I would caution about on netbooks is be very uh, uh, sure that you're comfortable with the keyboards. Some of these keyboards have cramped keys. Uh, some of them have uh, uh, weird, uh, narrow, uh, not very usable trackpad. You have to make sure that whatever you uh, buy is something you feel like you really could uh, could work on. Uh, the other thing is battery life. Uh, the ASUS one, which is a very nice uh, netbook in my opinion, uh, has a big flaw in battery life. Uh, the standard model with the standard battery gets, uh, got in my tests under two hours and I think probably maybe two and a half hours max in natural, uh, normal use and so you're gonna have to spring for more uh, a, a model with a bigger battery that adds some bulk and weight and a little extra cost. 
uh, I think, to get really practical use out of that. The others did uh, better on battery life, but in some cases that was also with an additional battery. So uh, netbooks are here. They're worth a try if you're somebody who just uh, really feels you could make use of something between a normal laptop and a, uh, a smartphone. This is Walt Mossberg, and I'll see you next week.